This video is supported by Creality. Well guys, uh, happy to the end of daylight savings time. <laughs> it's gonna start, uh, well I guess getting lighter in the morning. We just don't have to drive to work in the dark. And, uh, but it gets darker at night, so uh, when I come home from work it'll be dark. Uh, so, that means that work may slow down a little bit um, and uh, just be able to get mostly weekends in, but, but that also means that I can continue doing the 3D printing on the car. And that's actually a lot of what we have to do uh, these days. However, in this episode, I do have a lot of really cool stuff to show you. And so we're gonna get the car in position and then uh, we're gonna go over some of the uh, things that I have to show you. So let's go ahead and get started. So, as a sponsor of the build, I'm going to put your name right here uh, on the uh, carbon fiber tub. So, we've got uh, three names to put on here, so let's get started. So, first and foremost, We've got our main sponsor, uh, Creality. Again, I want to thank them for uh, equipment and financial support for this project. Uh, next, we have um, Mike. Okay. And then we have Chris M. So we've got uh, these folks uh, have contributed to the project, and so their names go right here. So you can get your name. Once I fill this up, I'll start in another area, but all of this will remain uh, in the carbon fiber tub uh, behind the project. So if you want to support the project, you can. You can do a super like for our videos, uh, which is just below the uh, video uh, itself. Uh, you can go to subscribestar.com and uh, sign up there. Um, so, or you can get in contact with me if you have uh, some parts or something that you want to uh, contribute to the car that uh, I still don't have. So, um, and my email is in the about section on our channel. So thank you again to um, our supporters and uh, let's go ahead and get uh, started with uh, today's efforts. So uh, we're trying to get this thing a roller. So uh, we did pick up these um, front uh, suspension arms uh, and hubs and we uh, they are slightly damaged scuffed uh, some broken plastic pieces but you know in general they're in good shape so uh, we're gonna get those on today and in order to do that we have to uh, get this on as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack up the car put it on jack stands, uh, put the lower suspension arms here where they belong, and then we'll slide it underneath and attach it to the tub. So uh, we'll do that in just a second, but I got a couple other things to show you. So we've been printing like uh, crazy people. And so what we have here is we have a front fender driver's side. And then we also have the lower uh, front fender piece. We have a side scoop. So this is the one I was talking about that I have on the other side of the car. So I'll print another one like it to replace the broken one. And then down here we have basically the rear end of our side skirt. But more importantly, we have this bad boy right here. So. This is our driver's side door, and I've got it mostly put together um, basically with our little uh, plastic fusing clips. You remember seeing that from the last video. 
Um, so just to make it structure, enough structurally sound that we can actually put it over here on this side, because as you remember, we actually have the hinge here. So what I wanna do is we've got uh, this side actually is in really good shape. So that's why I'm just decided to start over here is because this part of the uh, rear quarter panel is actually still in factory shape. It's got a little bit of a bend here, but I'm not too concerned about it. So we're gonna go ahead and screw that in, get it uh, mounted as firmly as we possibly can. And as you can see, the lower uh, quarter here is actually lining up with some of these tabs here now. So uh, we'll be able to basically get all of that locked in there. And then we still have a very good A pillar and surround. So I'm hoping that this is gonna guide any uh, issues that we may have over on the passenger side. So, um, but that's not it. I have more. If we look over here, I've got some other packaging. Um, again, this is thanks to our uh, supporters and uh, our main channel uh, sponsor, which is Creality. Um, another big thank you. Uh, we're also gonna go talk about Creality's um, uh, new printer that I have and uh, some of the experience that I've gotten with it. So uh, we'll do that later in this video. But looky what we have down here. These are AP Racing calipers, and these things are just massive. So these are original equipment. Um, I got them for a, a, an amazing price. I mean, they've got little scuffs and everything on them, but they all look in working order. All the pipes are in good shape. Um, a lot of the connectors um, are still in good shape. So uh, this was a steal. Um, and, and that's what I'm looking for. I, you know, I'm really looking for stuff that I can fix or is just, you know, scuffed up and, and uh, something that we can get relatively inexpensive and do some small fixes to. Now, I don't want to do anything that's as radical as the tub and replacing the entire A-pillar. Um, but if we have to, we have to. So, uh, but these were a steal and I have a full set and uh, including the fronts, the rears, and the parking brakes. So once we get some uh, rotors in, we'll be able to put those on the suspension. So, but I just wanted to show you guys how nice uh, these calipers were. And it looks like these are the ones uh, that are used for the carbon ceramics. So we've kind of pretty much committed to getting those types of rotors uh, front and back. So. Luckily with the McLarens, they're uh, not as expensive as say the Lamborghini, um, but I think that'll just really fit nicely with uh, the 600 LT. So let me go know what you guys think. Um, these are, uh, like I, I, again, these are like in just really good shape. So I'm really, really happy about that.
All right, guys, so there you have it. Um, front suspension's on. I even uh, threw the calipers on. Um, discs should be in soon, so we can try those out as well. I'll probably, until I get a steering rack, I'll probably uh, lock these two together with a piece of steel bar um, just so that we can uh, move it around a little bit. Um, over here we have the subframe in. So again, all of these bolts are just kind of uh, cinched up. They're not going to be torqued. Not until uh, we just start get serious about actually putting a load and letting this car sit on its own weight. I uh, got the rear uh, calipers in. Uh, I was going to put the parking brake in, but this one uh, did not come with the hardware. So I only got two bolts. And you can see that back here where I did put the parking brake on and the caliper. Uh, obviously the parking brakes on the wrong side, but I'll get that fixed. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and then uh, the door, uh, I've got the skin here. We've got it uh, kind of laying up against the uh, door frame. We've got some gaps that I have to work out, but we're gonna uh, reinforce all of this with uh, some half inch steel and uh, kind of make a little cage for some structure that everything will mount to. You can see up here that we got the dimensions pretty darn close. This actually needs to get bent down, but you can see that that gap's not too bad. Um, we'll be able to fix that in bodywork. And then this gap is almost perfect. So that turned out very nicely. So the models on here are just incredibly good. Um, but, and then we have to work on uh, building up uh, some mount. So after we get the structure on the skin, we'll build up a mount that will bolt to the, the hinge here. And then we'll move from there. Otherwise, we've got a door with a big window in it, kind of like a Senna, <laughs> only it's really not. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Wow, look at that fitment. It's absolutely amazing. Look how close that is. I mean, that's bang on. I mean, if I push this in, look at that. This model and this printer, I mean, the accuracy is absolutely phenomenal, guys. Phenomenal. So, that's gonna be it for today. Um, I really uh, appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate uh, Mike and Chris and especially Creality for supporting the channel and supporting the build. Um, if you guys want to go do that, um, you know where to go. Um, thank you again and we'll see you next time.